Hello and welcome to Secrets of Organ Playing podcast. We are your hosts, Vidas Pinkavichus and Ushamut Zide Pinkavichin. We've been mastering secrets of organ playing for more than 20 years and sharing them on this blog since 2011. On this show, which we create from our home in Vilnius, Lithuania, we strive to help you grow in every area of organ playing, including practice, technique, repertoire, sight reading, hymn playing, improvisation, composition, music theory, harmony, and many others. Our hope is to help you become a complete musician, or what we call as total organist, a program which we have created to help you reach your dreams faster than you would do on your own. If you are new here, we invite you to subscribe to receive free updates of this blog at organduo.lt. By subscribing, you will also receive free video on how to master any organ composition and 10-day organ playing mini chords. And now let's go to the podcast for today. Hi guys, this is Vidas. And Usha. Let's start episode 499 of Secrets of Organ Playing podcast. This question was sent by Joanna. And she writes, Dear Vidas, I bought a copy of Vio Noel by Cesar Frank from your website. I wanted to ask you something uh, which I do not understand. What are the numbers at the beginning of the piece? Number one, number four, and number zero in a circle. Regards and thanks, Joanna. Uh, first of all, Osha, we are approaching uh, soon episode 500. This is exciting. Oh, it is exciting. The next will be 500. I didn't think we will survive for such a long time <laughs> with our podcast. But it's a small milestone to celebrate. How will we celebrate? I don't know. Maybe practice something on the organ? No, I already practiced on the organ something today. You can't practice too much. Maybe I'll, I'll eat a cookie. <laughs> That's a good idea. And you? Then I'll you eat a cookie too. My cookie, you mean? No, another cookie. We have enough cookies for both of us. True. Okay. Uh, so Joanna uh, bought a copy of one piece by Cesar Frank from his um, cycle L'Organiste. This collection is uh, created f- to be played on, on either pipe organ or harmonium, French harmonium. Uh, in other countries they are called uh, reed organ, or in German physharmonium. Basically, they are a little bit different, but the idea is the same. You pump the two pedals, and therefore your your two feet are busy. You cannot play. You cannot play with your feet uh, as uh, with pipe organs on the pedal board. But I have seen actually electric harmonium, which has an uh, electric blower, and then you have a pedal board. So you have seen this too. How is different from the organ then? Because it doesn't have pipes, it only has uh, free reeds uh, vibrating, like in, in harmonium. Harmonium actually reminds me of accordion. Yeah, it has those bellows and the same type of reeds. You know where we saw this instrument? I'm, I'm not sure if, if you were there. Uh, in, um, in in the house of a, of a priest slash organist. Uh, Grazio Sokolowskis. No, I haven't seen it. You haven't been there? Mm-mm, no. He was for a long time advisor, I think, uh, for organ building company from Mariampola. And he also is a priest, but he is or was trained as an organist as well. So uh, I think during one concert of our uh, organ studio of Professor Leopoldo's degrees, 
a few of us went uh, to perform in some church in that region and we had a dinner and we visited I think this priest's house and he had I think this electric harmonium this is nice so, so what do you think about the collection no. so collection uh, collection uh, before uh, last summer I started sight reading these pieces and recording them on videos and putting the cameras above the keyboard so that the hands would be clearly visible with the hope that people would find useful the fingering that later our team has transcribed from those videos and apparently Joanna wants to learn uh, a piece um, from the suite uh, suitable to be played for Christmas time it's I think uh, in the middle of this collection and this Noel is just one part of, of this suite it's a very interesting collection it has um, it has I think seven suites in seven keys major and minor keys so the first is C the second is C sharp uh, the third is D and the fourth is E flat and so on it goes up chromatically and um, in each suite you have I think seven pieces suitable to be played uh, for liturgy six pieces plus of either offertorium or the sortie yeah. mm -hmm. I think it's a wonderful collection for church musicians because pieces are easily done quite easily done but we sound like a solid you know, pieces of music yeah they are not uh, crappy compositions at all they are really very aesthetically pleasing and you know it's worth to have this collection if you are a church musician, church organist and you could be a highly trained organist but uh, you could still sight read them and uh, your congregation will definitely enjoy them so now could you explain about those numbers what we mean uh, the numbers refer to the stops on the French harmonium. In this particular uh, Vieux Noel, there is number one, number four, and zero. So I, I copied those numbers, indications of those stops on the French harmonium from the, from the collection. And one is Cor Anglais. 8 foot. Cor Anglais is a reed uh, sort of similar to the oboe maybe but only in the bass uh, bass register right because French harmonium has a divided keyboard bass from C to E uh, E1 and then treble from F1 to C4 so basically one is cor anglais at eight foot level and four is basson eight foot level so here you have two stops of eight foot level and then zero means forte zero means forte um, which which uh, I basically adapted to pipe organ and wrote my own registration suggestions using uh, only 8 foot stops you, you obviously have to adapt you, you don't have to play everything with reeds here what do you think of sure of course not everybody not every organ has reeds at all so mm -hmm. maybe I should just mention other numbers 2 is in the bass 2 is Bourdon 16 3 is Claron 4, 4 is Basson as I said, 5 Harp Aeolian 2, and then 0 is Forte. In the treble, 1 is Flute 8, 2 Clarinet 16, 3 Flageolet 4, 
uh, 4 is obwa 8 5 is muzet 16 foot and 0 is 40 again so what if you don't have you know a divided keyboard as it is on the harmonium then you need sometimes two keyboards two manuals two manuals yeah, yeah. but not on this piece Probably not on this piece. I have to double check though, but uh, not all of them required separate, separate uh, stops for the solo voice. So yes, having those uh, markings in head, you can adapt to any pipe organ that you want, even on electronic organ. You just have to be mindful of the pitch levels 16 8 and 4 and dynamic levels uh, if it's zero then it's forte and uh, you can also sometimes find letter g in the score and g means grand org grand org means like tutti That's so, right. so yes. most of the stops together okay so that's the idea of playing this piece all right, guys, please send us more of your questions. We love helping you grow. This was with us. And Usha. And remember, when you practice, miracles happen. This blog is supported by Total Organist, the most comprehensive organ training program online, where you will find courses for every area of organ playing, including technique, practice, sight reading, repertoire playing, hymn playing, improvisation, composition, music theory and harmony, with hundreds of scores and thousands of exercises. Here is what some of the students are saying. Hugh writes, the sight reading course has helped me tremendously. Thank you very much for your SS courses and all your help. Robert writes, I found the fingerings, registration ideas and general comments to be excellent. John writes, I have found your download very helpful. It was really excellent. I have watched some of your teaching videos and when I read your instructions. I try to imagine you are there teaching me. You may feel disappointed that I am two three days behind, but I am a slow learner and I have committed to taking the time to get it right, as you say. But the other night my wife commented that she had never heard me play such a detailed melody in the left hand so well. My left hand is generally poor. Robert writes, It has been a great pleasure in my life of having discovered your courses and material as well as the YouTube work of recordings. You have a calm and pleasant way of teaching. Ron writes, Hi with the Santosha. Thank you guys. What a wonderful response to my email note to you. You've got me right, and I feel you understand my level of playing. Yes, at home and lucky that I have an organ for that reason. I am paying attention to this, and I am going to try this haha no longer secret model. Yes, and I love Caesar Frank too. What is very nice about your blog podcast is that Osha and Vidas are like a Socratic dialogue, and by bouncing things off of each other, so much more information comes out and is expressed. Your comments contain a wealth of information and understanding. I really appreciate this. It is very inspiring and will keep us moving forward. Would you like to receive the same or even better results that our students are getting? If so, join them at organduo.lt slash total dash organist. And of course, you will get the first month free too. You can cancel anytime. Also, if you haven't yet subscribed to receive free updates of this blog, make sure you do that at organduo.lt. By subscribing, you will also receive free video how to master any organ composition and 10 day organ playing mini course. This was Vidas and Osha from Secrets of Organ Playing. And remember, when you practice, miracles happen.